Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 247. I'm here to do a video overview today of iPhone OS 3.0. This was a software update, sort of like a firmware update to the iPod Touch and iPhone um, users. That gives you some new features, so I'm gonna walk you through the new features today. So you can st you can still turn your um, device on using the home button or the uh, sleep wake button at the top, and the uh, unlock screen is still the same. So you slide unlock. Now the home screen is still the same, and but there's a new feature called Spotlight. Now if you're on the Mac like me, you know Spotlight is a feature that you can search your hard drive. So on the iPod Touch and iPhone, you slide your home screen to the right, and you can type what you want in here. That searches your entire iPod. So for for example, if I type in Twitter or start to type Twitter, Twitter finally will come up along with an email from Twitter. So, and then to go back from it, you press the home button. Um, there's a new feature called that everybody has wanted for a very long time, cut, copy, and paste, which I'm going to go into notes, and I typed a very awesome note that says iPod Touch. So, what you gotta do to activate this is that you gotta hold down your iPod Touch and to make it big using the magnifying glass. Then this should pop up. Um, you get three options, select, select all, and paste. Um, uh, sorry about the iPod Touch moving around, it's gonna fall on my hands. Um, I wanna hit select. Then take these little brackets. Oops. And pull the brackets to where you want to stop. See all the brackets are in, across the word iPod Touch. Now hit copy. We're gonna return down a little bit. And you're gonna click down and hit paste. So then you can do this all across your email to a web browser. So something you just want to see. So that is cut, copy, and paste. The next feature um, is for iPhone users only. That is MMS, which means multimedia messaging. Um, that means when you can send a picture and a text message. Um, I can currently do that on my original um, phone I got now. Um, so AT and T doesn't currently support this. Um, this should come out in the later months. Um, a new feature that everybody wanted was a landscape keyboard. So if I go into Safari, and as you see, I'm on the Apple homepage. Now if I turn my i my turn my iPod Touch, um, to the accelerometer so it goes on um landscape. Now if I click Google, and type in um Apple. Sorry guys. And then hit Google. As you can see, the landscape keyboard comes up. Like I, like I said, so you can still type with two hands. So the landscape keyboard works great. I haven't had too many problems. Um, so yeah, that um, that is the landscape keyboard. Um, so if you go back to the home screen, let me just go down and look at my notes. Um, there's a new feature called um. Voice memos. Now, I currently can't do this because I don't have a mic. But on the bottom here, you get a little volume meter, a record button, and this little thing lets you see all the previous messages you record. Now, if you have a mic attached to your iPod Touch using the headset jack, you can actually record your voice memos. Since I don't have that, this is what it gives me. No microphone available. Connect the microphone to record voice memos, and then you say okay. So, um, if you want to see voice memos in action, check out some of our videos. Um, let me see. Um, in the iTunes Store, let me just open up the iTunes Store. Um, you're able to buy um TV shows and movies now. So if I go to the videos tab, which I'm in, so that load. Say I'm gonna buy um Mall Cop. Um, I can rent it or buy it, and it will download it to the iPod. This would be good for people that do business and go uh, go on live vacations. They can rent a movie before they go on the plane. So that is the new iTunes Store. Um, stocks. When we open up stocks, um, as you know before, you can always check your stocks by um just doing portrait. But if you turn it this way they show up this way 
So you can flick through your stocks, the ones that you follow, basically. And um, you can keep track of their um, revenue. Here's like, um, here's apples right here. Here's that load. As you can see, it peaked about here. So you can just keep track of that. And that would be good for um, people who watch stocks. I don't currently use it, but uh, I just wanted to show you. Um, there's been some far improvements to keep track of your um, passwords and stuff. There's also internet tethering for iPhone users, so you can tether your data connection with your i with your computer using Bluetooth or USB. Um, standard of Bluetooth. This runs across all now, just to prove it to you. Um, in the iPod Touch and the new firmware, you get. Um, you get a new option in general that says Bluetooth. Now you just turn that on and you search your devices. Um, I, I can't connect to my iMac, but I don't know why. But this will connect to a car stereo and you can, um, play your songs out there. Um, the Wi-Fi has been proved to just keep track of the passwords if your Wi-Fi is connected. So you can sync the notes and print controls. YouTube. YouTube has now a login screen. See if I sit, see that sign out button. I'm already logged in. So if I sign that out, which I'm going to do, I hit sign in. You just have to type your YouTube username or password, which I'm going to do now. So you can just do that when you get a minute. Um, let's see here. So yeah, um, basically you always, you can get, um, a shake the shuffle, you shake it to shuffle the song. And, um, new languages, and for iPhone users, you can hook this up to mobile me if your phone gets stolen. You can, uh, you can, we won't wipe it, which cleans off the data, and you can also run the release apps. So yeah guys, that was a quick overview of iPhone OS 3.0, just to show you that I'm running the firmware, and I'm not kidding, version 3.0. So um, that's, it. that's about it guys, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.